Very good morning. It's Penny Wild, the black pen. The swart pen. Ipeni Elimnyama. This is an appeal from me as a parent. Father of four amazing boys. Two beautiful, intelligent, strong young girls. We need to come up with a solution for society around the education system. Education was all about or was meant to be about acquiring the knowledge, the skills and the resources to be able to solve problems. In the modern world, many people have been convinced that the number one way to solve problems is to make money. And the number one way to get money is to get a job. And the number one way to get a job is to get a decent schooling. That means you get matric, grade 12. That means you get a diploma or a degree from a tertiary institution and then a company will hire you. Unfortunately, the reality today is that there aren't many jobs around. And as artificial intelligence, as automation, as robotics, as capitalism keeps moving, we start realizing that more and more jobs are going to fall by the wayside and we're going to be moving to a greater social welfare state, not just in South Africa, but around the world. So what we need to be doing is we need to be going back to the origin of education. What are our problems? And how do we find the skills, the resources, and the opportunities to be able to solve these problems? Fundamentally, at the core of these problems is how do we get food so we can eat? How do we get a piece of decent shelter, a home? How do we have clothing so that we can dress up and be warm and be covered from the elements? How do we entertain ourselves? How do we find a loved one? Um, et cetera, et cetera. And the reality is before the current schooling system, we could acquire skills. Now, my plea is this. Because the schooling system currently only serves the upper percentages of the children, the children that get over 70% average and above, and even with some of them, when they get to tertiary institutions, the unemployment rates are still relatively high. We've got a 40% graduate unemployment problem, which means people that matriculated, people that went and got their degrees and diplomas, they have qualifications, but they don't have jobs. So we need to create programs because the government is not going to do this for us. Programs after school. Number one, a lot of kids play sports, which is amazing. Rugby, hockey, netball, soccer, tennis, swimming, etc. But outside of the sports, there's also kids that do the cultural items, the choir, the drama, the debating. Although it's called a sport, but something like chess, which stimulates the mind. Outside of those, we need to now look at from Monday to Friday after school, can we for one hour, two hours, upskill our children with practical skills? Maybe on a Monday, Moto Monday, where the children are taught about the different parts of a car and where possible get practical experience in servicing vehicles. How do you service a car? How do you fix and maintain a car? How do you even drive a car? Can maybe with that or Tuesdays, maybe technology Tuesdays, where children learn how to fix and build cell phones, how to fix and build laptops, how to work with electricity, basic electrical um, engineering. Wednesdays, maybe you can do some plumbing, some construction work, where the children are taught about pipes, uh, how to fix leaking taps, um, basic construction, how to maybe fix a leaking roof, how to build a house, how to lay bricks. And how a house is designed and built. On Thursdays, maybe Thursdays, we use them for, for cooking, you know, and baking. Boys and girls, how do you cook? What are the different meals we can cook? How do you bake? What are the different types of uh, baked goods that we can make? On Friday, maybe we do agriculture, where the children are working in various gardens. They are planting vegetables. They are weeding the gardens. They are watering them. If you guys have fruit trees, how do you maintain your fruit trees or your fruit seedlings? Um, if you have space for some livestock, can you clean out the chicken uh, run um, so that the chickens are fine? Can you go and pick out some eggs? Can you feed some of your goats, some of your sheep, etc.? And then add other skills throughout the week. Certain days, giving the kids sewing machines, teaching them how to sew their own clothing, taking them out on excursions so that they can see farms, they can see construction sites, they can go to motor workshops, they can go to a construction site where they can see Houses being built, they can see electrical stuff being put up. Woodwork, where children are learning how to build basic furniture. We need to be focusing on skills in a future where a lot of the companies are going to be retrenching a lot of our children. And our children, if they cannot get money,
because there are no jobs or they can't start businesses, must be able to feed themselves, must be able to clothe themselves, must be able to build their own homes, etc. This is fundamentally important. And then basic social skills. Can you go home and make sure that you build better relationships with your mom, with your dad, with your siblings, with your cousins, with your aunts, uncles, grandparents, so that you can have a healthier home? And how do we manufacture, especially for export? Have entrepreneurship days where the children are buying and selling from each other. The things that they've grown in the gardens, the things they have baked and cooked, the things that they've built, the things that they've sown, etc. We need to begin rewiring our education for proper skills and resources. Because the current schooling system leaves kids begging for office jobs, which today don't really exist for the majority. We need to, as parents, put our hands up and see how we can get involved. And if you guys are aware of any such initiatives, extra murals after school that are teaching kids real skills, please shout out to me and let's see how we can help those people. Get them funding, get them into schools. If not into schools, get them into communities so that many more children have real skills and we can develop this beautiful nation of South Africa. Penny on the Black Pen, I hope you'll have a really great day. Spiley Furiela, Nantanda Gakul. Cheers.